what are some of the opportunities you are seeing across private markets? Yeah, thanks, Lindsay, for the question. I would say uh, a lot has changed in a short period of time, particularly over the last 18 months. You had a period post the global financial crisis where um, it was basically a zero gravity environment. Money was free, it was easy. Today, in the last really year and a half or so, that has all gone backwards. We've changed dramatically. Cost of capital is much higher. Uh, it's a difficult business operating environment. And the way I would describe it is a liquidity crunch. So in a liquidity crunch, if you're the provider of liquidity, it creates great opportunities. What are some of the areas that we like? Private equity secondaries. We like uh, private debt, particularly in capital solutions, where you can lend to companies that are high quality that just need to access that financing. And lastly, in venture, we really like to see structured equity transactions. Those are really interesting opportunities for us. Oh, thank you so much, John. What are some of the concerns you are hearing from institutional investors in today's environment? Yeah, absolutely. We're hearing a lot of them. I, I'd say, to summarize, it's the next shoe to drop. What's around the corner? Uh, we have two wars going on. We have geopolitical tensions across the planet. Uh, a difficult operating environment. Cost of capital has gone up much, much more significantly. Only about 25% of issuers in the U.S. have actually hedged their inflation rate risk. So we really do see uh, a, a major challenge across the board that investors are majorly concerned about. Um, in terms of where their focus areas are, uh, you know, there's a lot in the horizon in the coming 12 months. We have a big election coming next year. We have markets are in a bit of turmoil. Everyone's trying to debate where their private market valuations are. So certainly a lot of concerns on the horizon with institutional investors. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay.